Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and what I have for you here in this particular video is a lovely linear equation, something that you would see in a pre-algebra or Algebra 1 course, but the question is not solve the equation or what is the solution to the equation. The question here is a little bit different. It is describe the steps to solve the equation. So this particular question involves a little bit more critical thinking, and that's the whole objective of this particular problem, because if you really know something, whether it's math or uh, let's say you know how to play the guitar or you know whatever skill you might have uh, mastered, you should be able to teach it or you really can kind of understand, it, uh, understand all the kind of moving parts to what's going on at a higher order. And same thing in mathematics, uh, you know, uh, teachers like to kind of ask different type of questions just to see, you know, how you're thinking about things. So in your own words, go ahead and describe the specific steps to solve this equation 2x plus 9 is equal to 14. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then obviously I'm going to go through the steps to solve this particular uh, problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so uh, here's the thing with this particular problem. There's a number of different ways you can describe the steps. In other words, uh, you know, one person's answer can be different than another uh, in terms of the actual words, but the essence of the steps is going to remain the same. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you should have answered uh, this question. Okay, so again, you could have wrote, uh, wrote this differently and still been uh, correct. But the first step here is we want to subtract 9 from both sides of the equation. And our second step would be to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So if you have something like this, okay, where uh, this would be the uh, first step, subtract a 9 from both sides of the equation, and our second step, dividing both sides of the equation by 2, well, that tells me that you did this correctly or answered this particular question correctly. So let's go ahead and celebrate with a nice little happy face and A plus a 100%. And multiples, uh, multiple stars, you can tell your friends and family that indeed you understand a thing or two on how to solve two-step linear equations because that is what we're dealing with here, okay? So in algebra, when you start learning how to solve equations, you start learning how to solve equations like this, 2x is equal to 10, or x minus 1 is equal to uh, 5, things like this. And how many steps are required to solve uh, these um, type of equations? Well, this would be uh, an example, or these equations would be an example of a one-step uh, equation. So 2x is equal to 10. To solve this equation, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2, and we solve the equation here in this uh, particular equation x minus 1 is equal to 5 all i have to do is add 1 to both sides of the equation to solve the equation so these are examples of one step equations but the problem that we're dealing with here is an example of a two step equation so when you're studying how to solve equations it's uh, you know pretty obvious that you have to first understand how to uh, solve one-step equations, and then you move on to two-step equations. Got to get all this down, and then you can get into what we call multi-step equations. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. So here uh, it is, you know, uh, obvious that you're going to need to know how to solve this equation to understand the specific steps. But here is our problem. We have 2x plus 9 is equal to 14. So what we want to do first is we're trying to isolate the variable x on one uh, side of the equation. Okay, so when you're solving the equations, the objective is to get the variable on one side and get our numbers on the other side. Typically, we put our variable terms or variable variables or, or one variable on the left-hand side and our numbers on the right-hand side. And you're going to uh, start by uh, uh, moving any numbers over to the other side of the equation where you um, need to use addition or subtraction. Okay, so in this particular case, what we're going to have to do is move this 9 
over to the other side of the equation. It's positive 9. Now, because this is positive, what we're going to do is use its opposite operation. So it's addition. So what's the opposite of addition? It's negative. Are we trying to get, uh, get rid of this positive 9 on the left-hand side and move it over to the right-hand side? So we can do that by subtracting 9, uh, uh, this positive 9. I can subtract this 9 away. That leaves me with 0. Okay, But in algebra, the main uh, concept here is that equations are balance uh, scales. Okay, so just like a nice little teeter totter, totter, <laughs> teeter, teeter totter, uh, or uh, seesaw. And I think I'm saying that wrong because I think it all depends on what part of the country that you're in. Um, for me, I grew up in California. I think we called it seesaws. I don't even think these things exist anymore because they're probably too dangerous on the playground. But anyways, you got one person here, you're bouncing back and forth, et cetera, et cetera. But typically what we're talking about here, the main idea is that an equation is a, a scale. It's got to be in balance, right? So if you have one person here and this person weighs, oh, I don't know, let's say it's uh, this person's 120 pounds and this person's 120 pounds, uh, this uh, uh, seesaw is in balance, right? But here, if this person is 140 pounds, well, what happens? Uh, this uh, seesaw goes like so, right? Equations always have to remain in uh, balance, okay? It's a very, very important topic. And the way you keep anything in balance, let's just kind of go through like a scale here. So here is my fulcrum. Here's my lovely scale. So here's five pounds and here's five pounds here. My scale is perfectly balanced. If I add two over here, now I have a seven. My scale's like so, right? So that's not in balance. But if I add a two over here, my scale gets back in balance. Or if I take a two off from both sides of uh a balanced scale. Whatever you do, the main idea here, and I know I'm probably uh, kind of messing this up or hopefully I'm not confusing you, but the main idea in algebra when it comes to solving equations, and you got to really understand this, is here is our fulcrum. Here is our scale. You can do whatever you want on this side as long as you do the exact same thing on this side. You can add weight over here as long as you add the same amount of weight here. You can take weight off over here as long as you take the same amount of weight over here. So this is why you have to do the same thing to both sides of an equation. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our first step. So we want to move our numbers okay, over to the right-hand side. So we're going to get rid of this positive 9 by subtracting 9 from both sides of the equation. So that's step 1. And you can write that down or list that down or describe that in any way you would like. Okay, so again, step 1 would be uh, to subtract 9 from both sides of the equation. Okay, so now the result of doing this is we add down in a column manner. So we have 2x plus nothing is 2x. And positive 9 plus a negative 9, okay, is 0. We don't need to write a 0 there, so that kind of goes away. Then we have 14 plus a negative 9, or 14 minus 9, which, of course, is 5. Okay, so now what we have left is a one-step equation. So 2x is equal to 5. How do we get uh, uh, this equation uh, solved? Well, the objective of solving this equation is to get x by itself. Right, I have actually uh, 1x. x is the same thing as 1x. But here I have 2x. So how can I go from 2x to a 1x? Well, uh, what we can do is divide both sides of the equation by 2 because 2 divided by 2 will give me what? 1 or 1x. And that's what I'm looking to do. I'm like, okay, well, if I divide this side of the equation by 2, I'm also going to have to divide the other side of the equation by 2. Again, following that principle, that whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing on the other side. So here's our equation, 2x equal to 5. Our second step would be to divide both sides of the equation by 2, giving us the solution, x is equal to 5 halves. Okay, so just a kind of a little bit of a different um, approach to uh, the kind of questions you will see in mathematics, especially at the algebra level and beyond. Okay, your teachers like to kind of ask you different type of critical thinking problems just to see how much you really are understanding the underlying concepts. 
Okay, so this is why you just don't want to learn mathematics in a way where like, okay, here is an equation, like you're just saying, what do I need to do to solve this equation? You not really understand what you're doing. You're just trying to memorize your way through, uh, you know, you know the steps, right? Just, oh, it's like pattern recognition. See, I see this equation, I do the following. That's not going to be that useful on questions like this and as you progress in more advanced mathematics you're you're not going to be able to be successful okay so again the the correct way to learn any topic is to really learn the principles and underlying concepts so you can uh, comprehend the big picture okay and again uh, in algebra there's a lot of uh, moving parts if you need help with any of this stuff uh, if, you know especially like the underlying kind of concepts of algebra uh, check out my full instruction at either my pre-algebra or algebra one course. Again, you can find them at my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel on all sorts of different topics of algebra and pre-calculus, trigonometry, geometry. Yeah, I just love teaching mathematics. Okay, so hopefully this little video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.